Welcome back. I hope you guys survived week three. Now we're here for week four. So week four um, is a lot slower of a pace. Uh, we're coming off of project week. So we're learning a whole new um, stack essentially, which is the back end. So at this point, this is the point where for me, the stuff I learned prior to the boot camp has now gone. We've already done everything that I personally learned with the exception of bootstrap. And what I want to say about um, Bootstrap as a framework is that they kind of introduce it to you during the bootcamp, but they don't actually teach you. So if that's something you're interested in, the more front end frameworks like um, Bootstrap and Material UI, I would highly recommend like learning on your own. For me, I did a Codecademy course. Um, I think it was like 25 hours, but essentially if you have some CSS knowledge, it'll go by a little bit quicker. But they do not take the time to teach us the frameworks to make your so project recommend you know on your own time you don't you do kind of have time during the boot camp to look it up on your own but um i would highly recommend that you do that prior to the boot camp or on the weekends or you know it's not hard to learn once you have a general foundation of css okay so for the rest of the week we spent it learning node learning express learning Mongo and uh, MongoDB and Mongoose. Um, I'm still not 100% sure what all those things are, except for the fact that I know they are, are all part of what's called the back end. So um, you'll learn that with full stack development, which is what we're being taught during the bootcamp, full stack means that you know the front end, which is like what the user or the client sees, and then the back end, which is what um, it's like the behind the scenes. So everything that's happening behind the scenes, when they type in a name, that name has to be stored somewhere. When they type in a login information, that's stored somewhere. So that when a, somebody goes comes back to a page, they type in their username and login password information, then that's being able to be retrieved. So we're learning all the behind the scenes, starting with this. This is the three week unit. Um, and so it's I'm not a fan of it, but I also don't think I'm a fan of it because I'm not too familiar with it and we're, they're slowly building up our knowledge. They're kind of just throwing us into the, throwing us at the wolves, if, if you will. And um, so it's not as so cut and dry as front end, where front end it's more like, okay, here is CSS, here's HTML, here's JavaScript, you know, and we're doing baby steps working through it with Express and Node and MongoDB and Mongoose. Um, they pretty much just kind of thrown us and they're kind of just showing us. They're building off the concepts of what we've learned prior. So mainly with JavaScript, but I'm kind of a little lost in the sauce and I know the rest of my classmates are. So we're kind of just working our way through it. Apparently our second project, which is week six, will be based off of this. So I'm really trying my hardest to make sure I understand. They have a lot of labs associated with it that we're working on in the meantime. But I, and I, honestly, there's not really good resources that I personally found that help with understanding the material a little bit better. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I, I'm just spending the weekend reviewing the labs and reviewing the lecture. So all of our lessons are recorded and that's a positive because then I can go back and like now watch it. Now that I have a general understanding, I can go back and watch the lecture and kind of figure out like, okay, is this where I need a question or is this where I have a question? And, you know, I'm still not understanding this. So from the game from week four, three, uh, during our project week, um, we learned about this concept of model view controller and how like the view is what what the client will see. And then the model is like us building off of it in the controller. So this app that we're now going to be creating seems to be a continuation of that model view controller. And we're really getting the applicable part of model view controller. It was just more of a concept for the game. But now that we're in week four and we're learning about backend, we're really using models and views and controllers. Um, and so it's, I'm starting to be able to like, I guess, build an app, like a web-based app. We're using localhost 3000. And for those of you that are into web development, you'll know exactly what I'm referring to. For those of you who are not, or who are about to start a bootcamp, you'll learn in the time to come what localhost 3000 is for, uh, mainly associated with Mongo um, and Nodemon and uh, Express Generator. So we're learning all these backend technologies. And like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of it right now, but like, like I said, I think it's just because I don't, I'm not too familiar with it. I don't really know what's going on. And 
yeah i don't just i don't really know what's going on and <laughs> i'm sure in the weeks to come I'll, it'll slowly come because they told us like if you're still a little lost it's fine that the javascript stuff and the stuff we're supposed to have experienced prior in the prior weeks and what we learned in the prior weeks that's what they're hoping now makes sense so it's kind of like they give us information we are supposed to remember the previous information and then we go forward from there so yeah i mean really we didn't do much except learn those four things um we haven't they it wasn't too extensive we had outcomes and talked about linkedin um and our linkedin profile which i did myself a favor of i had created a linkedin in undergrad and i've been slowly building upon my linkedin um so i have over 700 connections on linkedin so i kind of gave myself a little bit of a head start so I, i'm spending a lot of this time outside of learning, relearning like Mongo, MongoDB, all those things. Um, I'm spending the time uh, cleaning up my LinkedIn um, to get it ready for jobs and, you know, to see what else is out there and to network with my classmates and other people with General Assembly. So, I mean, that's mainly it. We really didn't do too much except a lot of lecture and just straight labs among, around Node, around MongoDB, around Mongoose. And around express we didn't really do anything else for actually not that we didn't really we did not do anything else besides those and then our outcomes class to talk about job searching and um networking and this week like i said our topic was linkedin so it's a pretty short video but we really didn't do that much um in terms of content so um that's really it for me um i hope that you're following along and i'm hoping that this is helping somebody out there make decisions i will link my um contact email in the description block there i will link my contact email in the description box below so if you have any questions or want to reach out uh, talk more about boot camp or anything else related to it, please feel free to contact me. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And I hope that you find this video helpful. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend that might be considering something else. Um, I will be doing a video later explaining why I chose General Assembly over Flatiron and other schools. So with that being said, have a great rest of your day.